Hello, we're back for another video on the Ark Fjorda map. Today, we're going to be looking at the survivor teleport locations for the Vanaheim realm. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. First up, we have North and North East. These are exactly the same spawn locations and will bring us into the same spot. So let's start with North, of course. Alrighty, so if we just go up from here, this will bring us to this spot here. If we look right behind us here, you've got the mountain with all the metal scattered around it. You've got crystal on there as well. Nice bit of obsidian also. If we turn around from here, head towards the southwest, towards this lake. There's more metal scattered around the edge of this cliff here at the bottom. And if you just go down to the water, you'll find there's some cheeky silica pearls in the bottom. Nice cluster of silica pearls in the middle there. And if you go up from this lake here, you can follow this path. You're looking for that big tree just in front. Towards the southwest, but you can follow this path. Keep following this path and it will take you to this tree here. This will bring you to the Light Pet Cave. And just cut across this now to the left, towards the big tree. Right to the edge of the cliff, and then there's a little hole here. Which brings you to the edge of the cave. Location is 0 0.9 latitude, 89.3 longitude. It's a really nice cave, and of course, if you come in here, you'll find feather lights, you'll find bulb dogs, shine horns, and I think that's a glow tail as well. So, yeah, all the light pets live in this cave here, so it's a really cool place to visit if you're looking for a light pet to take. Mannheim East is going to be next. Alrighty, if we just go straight up from here. I looked around for ages around this area and it's very close to the last spawn area and it's just a better spawn location for anything. So yeah, not the best location. I would definitely recommend the first spawn location over this one, unless you live in this area. Next we have Anaheim Southeast. Alrighty, this is Southeast, if we just go up from here. You'll find there's a nice metal spawn right here on your left. If you move up towards the north. So there's loads of metal, crystal. A bit further up, you will find that Karkonos will spawn here also, Spinos. And a little bit further up, you've got the marshland area, which is quite a good berry spawn, so there's a lot of berries you can gather there. Also, if we go back to the metal spawn that we saw at the start of the teleport location, go to the top of this tree up here, and there's quite a nice little cave in here. Might make a cool base location in here. Up next we have Vanheim South. And if you just go up from here, there isn't actually much around this area but a lot of trees. But uh, if you head inland towards the north, you'll find this little stream. You can follow this down and uh, you'll see there is a nice amount of otters in here. There's already about five otters in here. That's a lot of otters. Oh, there's six because there's more down there. Who knows, there's probably more of them. Alrighty, next we have Vanheim Southwest. Alrighty, if we just take a left here, and towards the west, you'll find there's a nice amount of metal right in front of you here. There's also silica pearls in the water here. If we just go above it, you'll see them glistening in the water there, just down there. On the opposite side of the water, you'll also have some more silica pearls in the water. Just in there. Next is going to be Vanaheim West. This is definitely one you'll be wanting to know about. Alrighty, so if we just go out from here, this one typically spawns us right outside the Poison Wyvern Cave. Which if we just go towards the south here, looking for this water below, and straight down from here, do a U-turn, you'll find the Poison Wyvern Cave. 12.6 latitude, 64.5 longitude. There is also black pearls in the walls at the back of this cave. If you head right towards the back of the cave, of course, it's pretty dangerous in here. There are poison wounds, so it'll definitely be an end game if you're wanting to farm some black pearls. Alright, if you just go in the water, you'll see black pearls for days. And this is right at the back of the cave, located right next to that rune. Alright, finally, we have. Vanaheim Northwest. This is also another awesome point of interest we'll all be wanting to know as it brings you right close to a decent catcher spawn and we all love catchers. 
Alrighty, so if we just go up from here, it should bring us around this area here. It's very close to the Wyvern Trench location also. But if you just follow this path, just straight down to the left. Past this big tree, of course if you're on Desmos it's easy to find, you can just fly straight up. But this is the path route you can take to find in this lake, straight up from here. And right at the top of this path here, you'll see the lake. Full of gachas. Look at them all. Loving life. There are other great gacha spawns. However, this one is the easiest to navigate to if you're on a land creature and one that is closest to a teleport point. Hope the video is helpful too. I'll catch you all in the next one. Where we'll be going back to Midgard and finishing off the survivor teleport locations for the rest of those. I'll catch you all in the next one. Take care. Goodbye.